um <sighs> feels good bro <sighs> i want to say like i always say thank you for liking sharing my videos subscribing to the channel believing in this thing that we're building together right and let's not waste any time man we're talking about Marvel Avengers. This game is a tricky game to talk about, right? Because the game, I feel it's not finished yet. They released the game in such an incomplete state. This really should be illegal, man, for video game developers to do this type of stuff, right? The game has got some absolutely amazing elements to it. But it's got some really bad elements to it as well. Like just the other day, they released a patch. A 10 gigabyte patch for fixes in the game. 10 gigs worth of fixes, mate. It's really bad. But anyway, we're skipping ahead. Let's rewind back. Let's talk about the story. So... When the game was about to come out, I had no intention of buying it. But some YouTubers managed to get the game early. So I watched it on a channel called The Rad Brad, right? And I was watching it because I didn't, at this point, they had the promotion for the game was so bad, they didn't show that the game had any story, right? What it looked to me was the whole game was going to be set in multiplayer, and you're probably going to have like a world map on a table and then you can pick an area to go to and it's going to have like a little kind of like mission where they're at the table talking about it yeah they're going to fly to that area it's not going to have it's going to have like maybe talk uh story where they're talking there's going to be a little budget cuts in at the end you come back you have to do another mission which isn't too far away from the end game to be honest with you but that's what i thought the game was going to be completely incorrect the game's main story is actually godlike. Very well done. I feel and what kills it, I feel like it could be better. I feel like they kind of because they rushed the game and they wanted to put in the games as a service, the online elements of the game and the monetization with costumes that they and emotes and take down um animations that they neglected certain elements of the story and development right because you have certain characters like example kamala khan who is extraordinarily good in terms of her character development and just the way she has been portrayed in the game is amazing but then you have a character like captain america steve rogers who in combat is godlike, but in terms of story, non existent. He doesn't have a role to play because he comes in there really late to the game, but he gets no type of story telling to him. Nothing, right? So the game, if you think about it, really focuses on Kamala Khan and Bruce Banner. Right, Hulk. And I would say the helicarrier, Crimea in itself is like a character, an element of the game. Because you first get to the helicarrier, right? And it is a derelict mess. Destroyed from the events of A-Day. Which is essentially a celebration of the Avengers. And it turns out that it, an event happened... Where there was like a special crystal that they were trying to harness an energy from, became unstable, found that it was sabotaged, exploded in the bay, released a chemical that infected people, and turned um, human beings into inhumans. Inhumans are people with special abilities. Now, there is a second part to this, but they don't tell you in the story, they tell you in 
the form of these intelligent files, which are audio files that you can listen to in the menus in the game. And it is godlike. You find out that aliens are actually have been to Earth. And there is an, there are certain areas in the world where people live that where there has been traces or of alien activity or aliens have been in humans have been there so that chemical the gas that was uh, produced by the a day tragedy triggered the uh, mutation in people because those people have been living or born in the areas where there has been uh, alien presence so humans have basically been infected by aliens but it doesn't do anything but this the new chemical the mist actually awakens that thing in them and then gives them a certain ability and the abilities are linked to the person's um personification of themselves or what they would like to do or who they are or what they are or what they'd like to do right and they don't tell you that in the main story but it's in the files so the game has actually got a much deeper story than the main story shows you same thing with character development as i said with steve rogers not much development with him but he does have development in his intelligence files right where you can hear a lot about bruce banner you can hear a lot about the things that happened after a day that from basically from a day to where you start to play with Kamala Khan in the main story, which is um, years after A Day. It's pretty deep in terms of the story, but I kind of feel that it was not emphasized to its maximum potential because of the online and the games as a service element that they put into the game. Like, there are certain things in the game that people have got problems with, but I don't really have a problem with. Like, for example, the hero card, yeah? Or I think they call it battle pass, where you have a card. And within that card, you have levels. Let's say from 1 to 100. And if you complete a certain task, you will get... Three points that go into your hero card. And then if you get three points. You will get something inside of that card. Right? Because it goes from uh, one level, two level, three levels, four levels. So three points. Three levels. You might get one or two abilities. Or items within that card. You might get some credits that you can save towards buying a cosmetic that would normally cost you money or you might get a very rare item or resource or you may get in-game currency that you can use to buy emotes or color swaps for outfits that you already have right so there's certain things that you can do in that game but they are very grind heavy. Now for me, I enjoy playing with some Avengers. I enjoy playing with Iron Man now. I enjoy playing with Black Widow. I enjoy playing Hulk. But it can be very tedious simply because the areas are so repetitive. The gameplay loop is very repetitive. Drop down into an area protect the flag jump into an area kill this amount of enemies in an area get to this point you have to open this door you have to fly over there get the key from that place fly over here get another key fly over there open that vault go down that vault obtain the item then fly back to another area and then unlock the big area where you fight a hundred enemies, a boss, then it's the end of the stage. So it's the gameplay loop. The gameplay of the characters is so 
well done that if you love Marvel characters and you love Avengers and these characters, it's not really going to affect you. You're not really going to feel the tedium of it unless you play it for hours upon hours, right? But the thing is, if you just want to play the game and enjoy the game and just be amazed by the spectacle of playing with the Avengers, that element is not really there, to be honest with you, because it's so repetitive. And also... The loot system in the game is terrible because you can get loot, gauntlet, chest plates, you know, um, parts for your feet, torso um, items, right, gear, you know, head gear, but you can't see it. So all the abilities is just words on a sheet and numbers, which it, the value is inconsequential i'll give you an example there is a item that can give you invulnerability for a certain period of time when you become invulnerable you can't see the effects of invulnerability can't see it so it kind of doesn't really mean anything right except by i'm invulnerable i don't take any damage for like six seconds that's cool or you can have a situation where you have an item that gives you um, pin particles, Ant-Man, basically technology, which can turn enemies small. And then when they're small, they take more damage and they do less damage, which is a pretty cool effect, right? There's certain little things like that. But most of the abilities inside of these um, equipment, you don't see them. So their value is very low, right? So I don't like the loot system in that game. I just think it's poorly done, to be honest with you. And the outfits in the game, for a game that prides itself on cosmetics, there's a surprising lack of cosmetics. I feel this game, within a year, or maybe two years, is going to be pretty godlike. Yeah? But they have to sort it out. They should not have released the game in the state that it's in, right? Because other than the story mode, the game doesn't really have that much to offer if you just want to play the game and really have a good time doing a variety of activities. If you love playing Marvel characters and you love the world, then you're going to enjoy this game. And it's also, the game is split into two parts. When you finish the main story... Where you defeat, um, which is a godlike ending, yeah. Where basically Kamala Khan becomes giant, and then she fights off the. Uh, I can't remember what he was called. He was like a, a sentinel something, yeah. Some giant, massive. I think it was a Kree sentinel sentry, yeah. That was underneath the harbor, right? And that's the whole thing. Aim was trying to harness its power. To try to just do some craziness. And that is where Steve Rogers found that out. At the beginning of the game. In A Day. And then he sunk the ship. And unleashed the whole um, um, a thing. That destroyed part of the of you know the state that they were in. And then crashed into the bay. And unleashed that chemical that turned people into the Inhumans. To stop AIM resurrecting. The central, the central, I think it was a Cree century. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, right? It's been like a couple of days since I played the game, right? So I don't remember the details exactly. But the battle was godlike between Kamala and the Cree. And the part where the set pieces, where there were set pieces, amazing, unbelievable, right? And the story with Kamala and just her meeting the Avengers and just being in awe of meeting Thor and speaking to Thor and Iron Man and Banner and Black Widow and the way you build up the helicarrier. I didn't realise you were building up the helicarrier until you built up the helicarrier, right? Because before you realise it, you got some people that have moved in, right? Some technicians. And then the helicarrier... Starts to become functional when they have like electricity and power and the computers are on. 
and then S.H.I.E.L.D. moves in and then you see uh, Maria Hill and then you find out that uh, a lot of people, a lot of the Avengers, a lot of the, some of the Inhumans, right? No, no, there are no Inhumans on the ship, but they start creating facilities, right? For you to explore certain elements, like for example, a station where you could change your character, or another station where you can uh, harvest the bin, um, items that you find in battle that you can't keep on you, then becomes like a safe where you could keep those items. The war table becomes accessible. The helicarrier actually starts to fly. Shield moves in. Everything looks cleaner. Everybody gets headquarters. You see members of the Avengers like Captain America will just be in the hangar bay. And then if you go to where the hangar bay is, you might bump into um, Steve Rogers, Captain America. And then he will start saying something to you. If you're Romanoff, Natalia Romanoff, they will actually start having a conversation. And it's always a different random conversation every single time. Then you might be walking um, past the resources area and four might be in there and then he will just say something like Romanoff if you're like if you're just passing if you go close to him they'll start getting into a conversation right and it's as the characters move it's not a cutscene right and I love all that type of stuff but if you don't really care for it then it's inconsequential but as a Marvel fan it's such a excellent little detail that they put in that game as well as the notes that you can find in the game right the codex where you can find out about a lot of the characters in the game the villains and um, there's also intelligence files where you can find out about a lot of information about the characters for banner tony kamala natalia um uh, ant-man you can just find some events of a day uh, you even find some information about the Red Room, right? About Tony Stark's um, involvement in AIM, right? You find out so many interesting parts of Marvel lore and this world's lore. But it's all in audio files, in an intelligence file, hidden in the menus. That most people are not going to go to, so they're not going to find out certain information about that. Like the fact that, you know, well, it's not in the game, but I'm just saying. Marvel characters are creatures or characters that have been given their abilities and transformed. Mutants are characters that are born with their ability and they have the X gene. Inhumans are human beings that have been infected by aliens and not realizing that their DNA has been infected by aliens and then once that chemical the mist has from the experiment um, during A Day, the accident on A Day, anybody that has lived in those areas that they've been in, um, affected by the alien, um, that area that has been contaminated by aliens, yeah, Plus the effects of the mist, they will exhibit the inhuman gene, right? It transforms into an inhuman gene, which is a new thing, right? And all those little details you'd never know about if you never read the files. So yeah, I mean, it's a crazy game, man, because as I said, the story is really good, but the multiplayer, right, which is the second half of the game... Where after Murdoch dies, you have to deal now with Monica, the scientist supreme, and she's running AIM. And it's so well done, the way you have to go through missions around the world trying to stop AIM. So the whole idea of the helicarrier flying and you dealing with the Avengers and being sent on different missions to stop AIM from completing the task of whatever they want to do is so well and fascinatingly done right but it's just the idea of it but the execution isn't great so that's all i really want to say about that warriors about marvel avengers yeah i don't feel like i could do a comprehensive review on this game because the game is so incomplete so yeah warriors i want to say thank you for watching 
Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing my videos. And please stay tuned because I've got a lot more coming.